That last voter left again about 20 minutes ago, and she said she waited in line for about two hours, and she hardly waited the longest. Earlier tonight, there was a line that came out of the middle school. It stretched down the sidewalk behind me about a quarter of a mile, and people who waited in that line said they waited over three hours, and earlier today, they said their neighbors waited upwards of four. Governor Wolf said he has no symptoms of COVID-19. It was a routine test in Lancaster County. A man is facing charges after police say he shot a man over a vehicle crash. When we first arrived on scene, we saw several ambulances and at least five police cruisers, and we do know that there are police still on scene. You can see them behind me. They're taking photos. They're collecting evidence. Good evening, Evan. I'm getting pelted with snow right now. Uh, we're less than 10 days away from Christmas, and can you believe we spoke with shoppers who are out right now? They are actually buying presents. A lot of people we spoke with today in Lancaster say they like the snow. They even look forward to it coming down. But if you live in the city, you also know how difficult it is to find a spot to put all of it. The prayers and search continues as her whereabouts remain unknown. If you look, you can see the tire marks here where state police say a man backed his car into a Northern York regional police officer. Things have just started to look a little different. I'm going to step out of the way. You can see by our count anywhere between 30 and 40 Pennsylvania State Police troopers. The city of York is flushing years of unpaid sewer bills down the toilet. Yeah, that man Larry McFadden tells us he had no idea what his grandson was capable of. It's terrible, obviously. <laughs> I, I had no idea. With a middle finger raised and nothing to say to reporters, the man state troopers are calling an animal is taken to Franklin County Prison. The community affected by the cowardless actions can rest easy knowing that this animal is in custody. That's 20-year-old Thomas DeWald, the man charged with kidnapping a four-year-old girl from her home in the middle of the night. Investigators say DeWald took the girl to his grandparents' house on Harbaugh Church Road, where he bound her with tape and locked her inside a wooden chest. They say the victim somehow escaped, but we don't know much more than that. According to court documents, DeWald faces a host of charges, including indecent assault. It's pretty hard to deal with, obviously. Um, I don't know the son or the grandson that that you're describing, obviously. That's Larry McFadden, DeWald's grandfather. Grandson I knew was was expecting to be starting his career and uh, he's a very religious boy, and at least I thought he was, and he's very intelligent. That's the hard thing to accept, because this certainly isn't intelligent. But uh, <laughs> being put away to jail probably the rest of his life would be my guess. Investigators also say DeWald searched the neighborhood looking for kids playing in their yards and for homes with no video surveillance. It was just... It was, it was dread. DeWald apparently targeted Tom Lambert and his family. Investigators say DeWald got inside their home through a window, watching Lambert's three children sleeping in their beds, but took off when he heard the family's dog barking. My like worldview shattered, and not like uh, any political worldview or not any sociological worldview, but like ideologically, m my perception of the world is, has changed now, you know? Uh, uh, I have to be uh, still the encourager. I have to be still the, you know, the field without fences to some degree to my kids. But in the same regard, now I also have to be vi vigilant within that arena. And um, that's, that's very depressing. Tom addressing the camera with a solemn message for the man who's changed the way he looks at the world. Whatever made you what you are, I'm genuinely sorry for that. But wherever you are, I would really appreciate it if you stayed as far away from my family and our community for as long as humanly possible. Authorities tell Fox 43 they're tracking down where DeWald may have been prior to being here in Franklin County and that there's always the possibility there could be other victims. Live in Washington Township, Franklin County, I'm Grace Griffithin, Fox 43 News. We know elected leaders moved Lancaster County from red to yellow last Friday without the governor's go ahead and without Commissioner Craig Lehman's support. Once against the idea, Lehman said today Lancaster County is finally ready. Whether or not Lancaster County is on tomorrow's list of additional counties scheduled to move from red to yellow remains to be seen. But I believe that Lancaster County is now prepared and ready to move 
from red to yellow. How do you like that? I thought so. It's a bond most people will not understand. Tickle you, huh? A little tough love between a Newberry Township man and his reptile. But make no mistake, this alligator isn't Joey Henney's pet. He's not allowed to be my pet no more because he is my licensed emotional support animal. Henny even has the card to prove it, saying Wally helps battle his depression. He's affectionate, he's loving. Uh, he loves to cuddle. He loves giving hugs. He apparently even loves cozying up next to complete strangers. Henny has given Wally a home. With his very own pond and even the company of two other alligators that the family rescued. They're just like our dogs, pretty much. At first I thought it was crazy and then I warmed up to it because being with him, you realize there are a lot of other wild animals and he's the craziest one of the wild animals. <laughs> At three and a half years old, Wally weighs about 60 pounds, but he'll grow to be much larger. He is huge. He is very... He looks like, like he's almost as tall as you. He probably... He... Oh my gosh, he is. How I'm, tall are you? I'm five foot one. You're an inch taller. <laughs> Even though he's a certified emotional support animal, Henny doesn't bring Wally everywhere, like restaurants, knowing his size might not be welcomed at the dinner table. But in other places, Henny says his Walligator is greeted with open arms. Lowe's, uh, there's quite a few in there that they get to hold him and stuff, and then they get in trouble with their boss. Yeah, you're supposed to be working, not playing with gators. Swearing Wally wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, maybe a fly, but not a person. Lions and tigers and bears are... Alligators is really different than that. Alligators are very mild. They don't like biting people. In fact, Henny says he's learning how much people benefit from having an alligator around. We're getting letters from autistic children, uh, from people with anxiety that have been around alligators. Yes, it works. It helped us. And this gator won't be going anywhere anytime soon. All right. In Newberry Township, York County, Grace Griffithen, Fox 43 News. These are black stripes or invasion stripes, so they knew whose airplanes were. Lawrence Bolin, better known by friends as Gumpy, says he doesn't sleep much these days. Instead, you can find him sitting at his kitchen table in McSherry's town, telling war stories through his artwork. I can't do hardly anything else, and I can't sit still. I gotta do something. Painting is how Gumpy says he keeps his mind right. I want to try to keep going as long as I can. I don't want to be a vegetable or be a bird to anybody. That's one thing I don't want to be. He's a 95-year-old World War II veteran, a war he wishes more people knew about. Yeah, there's young people saying that it never happened. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they don't want to come to me and tell me that because I was there. But he doesn't just document his memories. He gives them away. He does his paintings and drawings to um, let me use his gifts. Painting every Monday for his friend's nonprofit. If he doesn't have anything to paint, I say paint planes, right? And she's pushing. <laughs> gifts <laughs> for fellow servicemen and women. That's all I ask for, as long as they appreciate it. And a reason to keep on keeping on. It helps, it helps me to, I guess, to keep going.